Okay, as you can probably already see, this episode is something a bit special, so let me know what you think. GameZone have put online a lot of YouTube videos of their latest releases of Orc Bull Riders, and I thought, well why not bore you all by stitching them together and reviewing them, or just talking over the top inanely anyway. So kicking us off, this particular ball rider will cost you 11 euros, and I think frankly it's well worth the money. Gamezo's stall at Salute was absolutely mobbed this year, and with very good reason. They do really high quality sculpts. Anyway, this is Orc Rider number one, with the raised sword, and the pose on the ball is absolutely fantastic. Very, very dynamic, I think. And this is their second Orc Boar Rider. As you can see here, he's running a different boar, and he's got his sword down to one side. But the price is still the same. It's 11 euros for this one. I really think more companies could use YouTube effectively to market their pretty figures. And here's the same figure again, this time a nice painted version. I'm not so keen on the pose, to be honest, compared to the first one, of either the boar or the rider. It's not quite so natural and ferocious as the first. At the end of the day, it's still a great sculpt. OK, now we have the standard bearer, on the same bore as we just saw. Nothing too fancy about the standard, which is attached rather neatly to his back. I think one of my issues with this set is that there are only two regular troopers, as we've seen, plus the command figures. Really, I think GameZone should be building more component-based figures, so you can swap arms, legs and heads, etc., to make regiments with more variation. A regiment of only five figures is never going to be enough. Now I'll just pause my review for a moment to let you know that Artemis Blacks is probably the best place to buy game zone figures if you live in the UK, or the US for that matter. Just remember to tell Artie that that colonel sent you. Alright, next up we have this rather fine orc musician. As you can see, he's presumably beating the drum with the butt of his sword. This one will cost you again 11 euros. Oh, I forgot to mention the standard bear we saw before is slightly more pricey at 12 euros. I love the way he's presumably yelling off the top of his head as he's beating his drum. Finally, for another 12 euros, we have the Orc Chief, a really powerful model that was selling like hotcakes at Salute, and you can probably see why. It's an amazing pose, if slightly over the top. Here we can see a painted version, and for a second opinion on this figure, let's go over to Grom at the Frothers Forum. He pointed out that the Orc's torso is as big as the boar he's riding, and that his biceps are bigger than his head. The two-handed axe raised overhead pose, he said, was fantastic. It's a logical extension of Games Workshop's current muscle-bound monster orc style, and it's a well-crafted realisation of that aim. Well, that just about wraps up this Games Own special edition of the Colonel Marbles Miniatures Review vidcast. Let me know what you think of the format. Certainly, I'd be encouraging more manufacturers to post their figures on YouTube. And don't worry, I'll be back very soon with the regular edition of this week's Colonel Marbles Miniatures Review vidcast. So, see you then, and don't touch that dial.